G'day, it's Pete here, and today I wanted to talk you through how to use BBO. We'll uh, go through various things like how to create an account, play tournaments, increase the usability so you understand what's actually happening, uh, adjust some of the settings to what I actually personally like, and uh, look at some of the past hands and go back and check those. Um, but first of all, BBO is one of the best softwares for playing bridge online going around. It is free and what you have to do is go to bridgebase.com or you can just put into Google BBO and this will take you to a page where you can click login slash register. So if you've never done that, you want to uh, click here and it's completely free to register. it will have a pop-up uh, here where you can become a member for free So all you'll have to do is put in a username password um, You can put in an ACBL number. You don't need to you can put in your real name You don't have to only username and password are required You can show your skill level if you want to and your country that you're into and then you uh, want to uh, Agree to the terms of service and then you've become a member once you've done that, you can uh, log in. So when logging into BBO, this is what the home page looks like. Over here on the right, you've got some news, various things, such as like the weekly free instant tournament that I do. Uh, you should check that out if you want. If you do, all you have to do is click Solitaire Bridge, then Weekly Free, so you can play that. That's an eight board BBO tournament that you play with and against robots, but are compared against 15 uh, other people. Anyway, uh, this is what the home screen looks like. Um, if you want to play for American ACBL events and earn master points, uh, you can go to ACBL World, or just all tournaments are in competitive. You can find some free tournaments or some challenges in there, and you can just find what you're looking for under competitive. We also have uh, practice. Uh, something I really wanted to highlight here is Bridge Master. There's a great declare a play problem uh, setting hand uh, challenges that you can do. And or you can just play casually or against robots in either solitaire or casual. It doesn't need to be a tournament. So uh, for this, just some usability features of this. We'll uh, jump into the robot world and play a table with three robots here. So yes, take me to a table with three robots. There's, there's free once you've got uh, robot access and the hands pop up here. A few things that you need to know. Firstly, um, here it'll give you a description of what the bids actually mean. Um, then they'll disappear. If you wanna see it again, you can just click on it and it'll pop back up. Um, over here, it's got uh, the vulnerability and the board number. If it's all white, you're not vulnerable. If there's some red, it'll highlight who is vulnerable. This yellow bar here will describe uh, whose turn it is. Uh, I am currently yellow, which means it's my turn to act. So I'll pass. You'll see the yellow bar move around and these descriptions still pop up. So we'll keep passing and we'll see where they get to. So it looks like they're gonna stop in one no trump and then it's me to lead. Let's say I lead the 10 of hearts. I go, wait a second. I just completely forgot what the auction actually was. So we need to go back and check out what the auction was. So how do we do that? Well, uh, what you want to do is click uh, over here where it says one no Trump East and it'll pop up with the auction again and you can see what actually happened here. So if you want to review the auction, that is where you click. Um, you can click it again to make it go away or you can also uh, just click up here and it'll go away. Um, if you've made a mistake in the play, uh, sometimes you can do undos, not all the times. If you do want to do an undo and it is allowed in the format that you're playing, you want to go up to these three white bars and here it will say undo and you can click that and it will allow you to uh, go back to doing uh, what you wanted to do and you can uh, lead it again. If you're playing against your own players, it will offer it to them whether um, to accept it or not. It's not just that you automatically get your playback. Um, anyway, um, there's a concede button slash claim button down here. So when you're ready, if you've won a trick, uh, you can claim, but if you haven't won the trick, all you can do is concede. So you need to wait until you're willing to, you're able to win a trick. So we'll see when I get in eventually with my ace of clubs and we'll try and do some claiming when that happens. Okay, so uh, taking Their tricks. And again, if you want to review the last trick played, 
Um, what you can do here is this one slash seven. This tells you how many tricks have been played. If you can click there, it'll tell you what actually happened for the last trick. So here, the last trick was ace, 10, seven, nine. So if you missed that and you wanna see the last trick, so here we played a club and we wanna see it again, we can uh, click there and it'll tell us uh, the uh, tricks available. And it, this button will either say concede or claim. So if we wanted to concede here, we could click that and then it will say confirm, I wanna concede all the tricks. That's not what I wanna do, um, but uh, that is where you can concede slash uh, claim. Uh, if you're the uh, declarer, I think you can do more claiming than uh, conceding. Okay, and we got the uh, rest of the tricks. So how do you check out how you actually went? So here it says we got took nine tricks and it says, oh, we won two imps. But if you want more detail than that, what you wanna do is come across to history and click history and it'll show you the recent hands. And here it's got my table or other table. So here it's got the list of all the hands you played and you can go back and check with a little analysis down here. If you click other table, it'll show you what the other tables did. So currently only one other table has played it and they got to two spades. You can even see all of the bidding that they uh, chose to do. Um, also here, if you want some more analysis, you can click these three lines here and it's got show double dummy analysis. And here it'll tell you what could have been done and it's hard to tell, but they're all green twos down there basically. And what these green twos will say is that uh, they always could have made two over tricks pretty much no matter what you would have led. And then we can hide that. Um, so that's basically the usability of it. So the things I wanted to highlight, if you wanted to see the bidding again, uh, you click on the final contract and it will pop that up. If you wanted to see the last trick played, there's a little section down here during the play, which says uh, you can like one, it has some numbers on it. You can click that, it'll review the last trick played. There is a concede or claim button usually down here. If you want an undo, you can click up here and if I had made a bid, the undo would pop up. If you want to see a bid, uh, you can click on that. As for alerting on BBO, if you're playing against people, um, not robots, what you have to do is you have to alert your own bids and it won't actually show it to your partner. Usually down in around this section, it'll have an alert button that you can click and describe your action. Also, if your opponents alert something, you can click on the bid and I'll ask them to please explain. So if they didn't alert something or you want a bit more information, the way that you can do that is just click on their bid and I'll ask them to explain their bids a bit more. Anyway, uh, let's look at some settings that I like to change just to make it a bit more uh, usable, I find. Um, what you wanna do is click account and it'll pop up here and you can go over to settings. And now a few different settings. Firstly, I am not a huge fan of the sound effects, so I have switched those off. So it's usually like this and you can switch it over. Also a uh, few settings here that I like to change. Uh, firstly, these are all switched on usually, um, which it has confirmed bids. So let's say I want to bid one spade. It then has an okay that you have to click. If I don't want to have to do that, I can switch off confirm bids and now I can just bid whatever I like without that OK button. Also similarly with the play, if you've got confirm cards on, you have to double click the cards. And if you just want to uh, click it once, then you can remove confirm cards off. There's also an auto play singletons function. I just like this because of like how quickly the card will pop out of your hand. If you're playing against people, they might be able to, t to tell that. Um, also, I find sometimes the play will go a bit quicker than I want, so I turn auto play singletons off. So I like to turn off sound effects, confirm bids, confirm cards, and auto play singletons. Um, so they're the main features of uh, the account that you want to change. If you are playing and you want to talk to people, uh, down here is a chat, so just hidden behind me. There's a little chat bar where you can click down and type, and this little blue box in the bottom left says who you're typing to. So here would be to all the kibitzes, but I could change that to the table, um, the club, or the lobby. Um, if you're playing a tournament, there'll be an offer for a tournament, or you can message someone privately. Speaking of uh, trying to message particular people, there's a tab here called 
people and you can find some friends um, and if you want to add a friend down the bottom right, there's add friend and you can type in a name. So I'll just add slink2 and click add and you can uh, search for friends, add friends uh, in this sort of people tab. You'll be able to find uh, more information there. So that's how I like to use BBO. Uh, I like to change some of the settings. Um, uh, the usability, we've got the undos, you can review the auction and you can review the last trick played. These are important features. Once you've played it, uh, you can check your hand in history, there's recent tournaments, recent hands and the tables that you're actually playing. Um, so these are the main features that I like to use in BBO. If you're trying to find tournaments, uh, just again, um, there's competitive and then you can choose ACBL master point tournaments or you can find free tournaments um, that you want to use. If you want to play the weekly free instant tournament that I strongly suggest you try checking out, click out, click Solitaire Bridge and then weekly free instant tournament. You can play this at resets every Friday, so give it a shot once a week. And yeah, that's how you use BBO. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little quick tutorial and you jump straight into it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.